presented by Ceramic Speed, part of the victory. Welcome back to Breakfast with Bob from Challenge Denmark and beautiful Legoland. We're brought to you by Ceramic Speed. Our next guest, Hendrik Heidelund. Heidelund? Hulelund. Hulelund. Yeah. Hendrik, great to have you with me. Thanks so Thanks. much for taking time. So talk a little bit about, here you are, uh, you're a guy with a degree, yeah. right? You've got a major degree, and you're doing triathlon. Yeah. That tough decision? Yeah, it, it kind of. Well, you're a mechanical engineer. Yeah. Spent a, spent a couple of years taking my education and just came to the point where I have to, to make a decision whether I want to try triathlon out or, or, or using my degree. So I knew I, I couldn't do both, so uh, I had to pick one. And uh, You can always be an engineer. I can always be an engineer. And at, right now the, the sport is what I love. I love to train and uh, I think it's, uh, it's, it's awesome. Well, and things are growing in this country. It seems like there's more emphasis on the sport. You've got an Ironman. In Copenhagen, you got Challenge Denmark. Is, is, does that play a role in terms of your your choice? Because you, you know there's more dollars. Yeah, of, of, it, it definitely has because you got to make a living. So, so when you see the the progression the the sport has in Denmark, then I, I can see a future in it. Um, if it, yeah. if there wasn't that progression, then there probably wouldn't be some sponsors right. and and there wouldn't be people to yeah to give products and that. So, were you, what was your sports? What were your sports growing up? Were you a swimmer, runner? Yeah, I'm a I'm a former swimmer. So, okay. um, swam a lot until like 2004, and then, yeah, got into life. Yeah, Move. got the. It got it got a little bit too serious, and at that age, I think I was 18. Yes. So uh, there was other other things to do. So lots of other stuff to do. Yeah. And then, when did you find triathlon? I found triathlon in uh, in 2011. So it's only been a couple years. Yeah, it's it's really been been a, a good progression. So you think? I mean, look at just just this last year, uh, actually last August, you you knock off Timo Brock at Ironman Copenhagen, four sixteen bike split. Yeah, I mean that's the real deal. Ten fifty one lead over someone like Timo Brock off the bike. That yeah. that's had to tell you that you know what this sport is. I can be really good at this. And yeah, that, that's that's a part of what also keeps me going. That I think I got I got a lot of potential that that I haven't seen anything yeah. to yet. Uh, yes. So I, I, th I think I can really grow grow in the sport uh, with the results I have had. Um, of course, I know that it it isn't gonna progress as fast all right. the time. But but just that nice and easy progression, then I think I'm gonna be a, a competitive one. Now tomorrow, uh, people would say that Martin Jensen might be the favorite. Right, he's your coach. Yeah, so he's coaching you, but yeah. You know, so does he tell you, hey, listen, I want to win tomorrow, so I need you to go do slow workouts this week. <laughs> now, how is it racing against somebody who's coaching you? Well, it's I think it's kind of funny, but but I have a, a huge amount of respect for Martin and, and what he does, and I know he's a, he's professional enough to to wouldn't compromise anything about my performance uh, to this race. So um, so it, it's it's funny, but. At the moment now we are competitors and but we also still coach an athlete but yes. it's not gonna change anything. We are tomorrow when the gun goes off we are, you're we are racing, competitors. Yeah. And then after a race, yeah, you're friends. Th yeah, friends and coach an athlete and how has yeah. it changed things, um, being a dad? How 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 old is your little one? It's uh, eleven eleven weeks. Eleven weeks, so yeah. this is fairly new. So it's 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 very new. Yeah. Has it affected sleep patterns at all at this point? Yeah, I would I would be lying if it hasn't. So yeah. um, it, it has a little bit, but but we have been lucky. We have got a, a great little little boy, and he's sleeping very well. But it it's putting things into into perspective, and uh, you find out there's more to life than than triathlon, and it's just a it's just a great feeling. When I, again, when I look back at your Ironman last year, when you win that thing, but uh, you know, 256 marathon after that fast bike ride, 803. That those are impressive times for guys who've only been in the sport a little while. Yeah. Well, yeah. Copenhagen is a it's a fast course, but it's 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 a course where I really love to to compete. It's uh, an awesome awesome competition, yeah. and I got my whole family and lots of friends, and just makes me wanna give a little bit extra. So, what is it about this course that suits you? Well, it's I'm living in Denmark, training in Denmark, so Denmark is. is 
some people know very very flat and yes. uh, I like to get down the arrow bar and just, just hammer, hammer through yeah so you have a lot of uh, a lot of family members out on the course cheering you yeah they're my girlfriend and son and mom and dad and her mom and dad and also a lot of friends where are they gonna be well right now we're staying at the Atlantia and okay probably close nearby so they won't be be too bored doing the competition well and you obviously you you won in Copenhagen last year so this is you know, winning in your home turf is pretty good yeah always it's it's the best feeling I have had so far in this sport but yes so the rest of this year what will that look like for you well, it's um, I'm doing the ITU World Championship in uh, two weeks in Sweden. Okay, that's a half. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a it's a long distance, like. Oh, so it's four, a three quarter. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Then I'm uh, doing Ironman Copenhagen again. Um, Defend your title. Yeah, of course, and love yes. the event. And then I'm uh, I think I'm turning to uh, Arizona, to uh, to start collecting some points for uh, 2016. For 2016. So this yeah. year the goal isn't to get to Kona this year. No, no, it's. Uh, I also um, very aware of my own abilities, and yes. I know I have to to keep improving to to be competitive in Kona because uh, I don't want to go to Kona to finish top twenty, twentieth right. or, or something because then it's just a big uh, big bill for the for the trip. Um, it's expensive. It's very expensive. So especially coming from here, uh, ultimately is the, is the goal to do you see yourself as more of a seventy point three guy or a half guy or more of a full? What's yeah, better I, I would love to be. Be a 70.3 guy because, um, but um, I'm struggling with the run, and uh, I, I I can't run with the the really fast guys. Yes. Um, so I'm I'm more uh, I'm more an Ironman guy I think because the it's not as intensive as the the 70.3 is. Right. Um, I'm better yeah. better at the the steady pace and not the the really fast killing pace. Well, and it's I mean, it sounds like you can pretty much hammer the bike. Yeah. And like you did here in Copenhagen, run a, a 256 off the bike and win the race. Yeah. So, you know, you start getting 10, 12 minutes on people off the bike. Yeah. Which is hard to do in a 70.3 or a half. Yeah, it, it's, it's definitely is. Um, it's, it's, I think the, the Ironman game is a totally different game than the, the 70.3. Yeah. 70.3, you probably can go almost fl all flat out yeah. from the start and then you just keep going. And, but Ironman, it's, uh, it's more tactical and... Yes. So, uh, with uh, will the Ironman seventy point three be a goal for you this year? Well, championship? Yeah. No, um, I'm yeah I'm I'm well aware of, of my own abilities and yes. and also the perspective that I've just became a dad. So, so my goal is to to peak at at Copenhagen, Copenhagen and then defend the title and then again uh, at Arizona. Um, so, so my build-up has been slightly different this year. Um, so I'm, I'm peaking more at the end of the year than, right. than the start of the year. So right now, you wouldn't look at yourself as being in prime shape. The goal is to be fit for Copenhagen. The, the really fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Um, I have to. Yeah, I have to be honest that that is. Uh, it's that, hard. Is, you that, can't is, that is the goal. You and can't be fit all year long. No, and and also because I want to try the the Kona out then. Being fit now and being fit all the way to November is is, is really tough for me. Uh, for anybody, I, I it's had, I've tried it before, yeah. but it, it didn't really work out. So so now I try a little bit different, and, and with a little boy, it's uh, it's it's helping me at the moment. Do you find that it changes your perspective now that you're a dad, where you just come home from every workout, and it doesn't matter, good race, bad race, good workout, bad workout, you got somebody smiling at you. Yeah, it's um, it's it's a whole different whole different thing. Um, you can you can be be mad or be sad for like a, a, a little while, and then you look at your son, and when he's smiling, then you can't yeah be sad anymore or, or disappointed. It. So it it changes everything. Love it. Well, what would it mean to you to to win tomorrow? It would mean a lot. Um, I'm a Danish athlete. Uh, competing racing, in Denmark. Yeah, competing <laughs> in Denmark, racing close to my hometown uh, yeah. in, a, in a big event. So it would mean uh, very much. Love it. Henrik, thanks so much for taking time. Thank you. I love it. Again, this is Breakfast with Bob. We are at Challenge Denmark at beautiful Legoland, brought to you by Ceramic Speed. Hold on, everyone. We will be right back. Presented by Ceramic Speed. Part of the victory.